We are watching a long ago weekend adventure for Emery Goulash and Walt Sardina. The two friends came early and stayed late for a day, or maybe two days, on the sunny side of the tracks of the Toronto Terminals Railway in the early 1970s, recording the passage of a wide spectrum of passenger trains, switching moves, and some freight traffic into and near the vibrant Beaux Arts Toronto Union Station, opened in 1927. This was the era before Via Rail Canada took over long distance passenger operations in 1978. A non stop parade of trains of the Canadian Pacific, Canadian National, Government of Ontario Transit, GO Transit for short, and Ontario Northland are seemingly everywhere in these rail action scenes. A train of three bud rail diesel cars, called rail liners by the CN, arrives in Toronto from Sarnia, Ontario, 179 miles to the west. The rail liners pass a westbound GO train headed to Oakville. As the GO train recedes in the distance, distinctive CNFPA4 number 6763 and F9B number 6634 run light from the Spadina engine terminal to Union Station to power an eastbound train to Montreal. Another CP transfer run, this one behind number 6525 in its older maroon and gray paint, rolls past the camera south of Union Station. Here comes CP number 6543 right behind it with a transfer job. The distinctive FPA nose with grill work around the headlight comes out of Union Station. It's Rapido 60 departing for Montreal behind CN Montreal built FPA 4 number 6763 and EMD F9B number 6634 with the Carlton Club seen earlier while the train was being made up. The Canadian Pacific's one-of-a-kind Montreal RSG-17, known as the Empress of Agent Court, heads up a transfer run which includes piggyback cars for a loading facility at John Street. The locomotive is now preserved at St. Thomas, Ontario. The switching move gets underway westbound first. It has just gone through the Spadina car washer in the background. The westbound passenger train, the CN Supercontinental, with an ABA power lash-up starts to roll. The train will run 286 miles north of Capriole, where it will be combined with train 1 from Montreal before proceeding west to Vancouver. The switcher slowly grinds its way west with the washed cars, while the long Supercontinental picks up speed. The summer consist has swollen the train to 15 cars. 